In this video, we'll discuss how to create tabs in the model driven farm and also how to work with that. And we do have that header option in the farm. So we can able to work or we can able to add the columns into the header. And uh, we can able to hide or delete the columns from the farm as well. And we'll discuss what are the components are available in the model driven farm. And also we'll see how the tree view will display in the left navigation and what is the advantage with that. So for that, I'm going back to the uh, farm which we created in the previous video. So in this farm, we have created with a two column layout and we can able to work with a three column as well. Or you can keep the single column, which is a default one when you start modifying or creating the new farm. And when you change the layout, automatically the column width uh, will automatically change. Here it is divided with a 100 by 3. And the first column will have more like 34. And second column 33. And third column is 33. So if you want to change this one, you can able to change. So here in this um, in this farm, uh, we have an, a header section here. In the header section, you can see this is a new contact management. and. Uh, we are using inside the contact management list so you can able to see here so when you select this header in, in the right side you can able to see only one option here which is show header flyout but if i unselect or if i select there is no much change here uh, to work with this one first we have to add columns into it so in the in the header section i want to add uh, this um, in any of the column for example I have vendor ID if I want to add this vendor ID into a header section so we I can able to drag and drop this one and now I can able to see the vendor ID here now if you select the header if you click this one you can able to see this chevron is disappeared and if you click this one and this is appeared so the advantage is this if you have multiple columns here you can able to see as a kind of you know card here in the header so if you have like two columns here for example i'm trying to add another column in the header section so now you can able to see this one we have header and we have created by so two columns are available in the header so once once you add here you can able to see the common properties which is available inside your farm columns the same type of options you can able to see if you want to hide the label or if you want to hide on the phone view or you if you want to completely hide on it you can able to hide it for example if i select hide for the vendor it is hidden and you cannot able to see that but that is still in the farm itself if you unselect this one now you can able to see now hide and delete is two different kind of things we'll see that and you can able to lock so if you click lock and uh, this will be lock and then if you click this one it will be un unlock and if you want to make it read only so it it, it it will be read only now you can able to see this one uh, with a read only concept now it is done um, once um, once you add here for example if i am clicking delete now this will not available inside the farm it will be available inside the list columns but uh, that will not available inside the farm but when you hide it that will be available in the farm but uh, that would be in the hidden state now coming to the tabs if you, if you see here uh, when you create a when you when you work with any of the model driven farm you can able to see the general tab and also you can able to see the related concept so when you when you save and publish when you play this one and you can able to see this and if you click this related the related items will appear like you know audit history is available and related process center which is a background process we'll discuss this one later we'll discuss about the audit history also once we add the data and then when we are working with the data and once we publish everything and once we design the complete uh, model driven farms we'll discuss about the related uh, uh, related links and related items inside the model driven farm now here if you want to add add any tab here in this one you can able to add so for that if you go to the components now you can able to see here one column tab so which means the tab will create with a one column in one one column section inside it so if you click this two column tab and it will create the tab with the two columns two sections in it with the two columns uh, which is side by side if you click this one now you can able to see two sections one is 
here new section another section is here so the same way how we are working with this general the same manner you can able to work with this tab for example if, if you want to keep the vendor information inside this tab you can able to add this vendor tab and uh, that is the label which displays and the name also you can change from here and uh, uh, which is changed now here you can able to see the layout two column for example if you create a tab with a two column and later you want to change to one column you can able to change that as well so here in this columns you can able you can able to drag and drop the columns into this tab i have this i have this vendor id now uh, now we have two columns if you if you want to add more like uh, there is one more column called contract description so you can able to see so if you go to here now here i have a contract name start date and uh, if i want to add any of the columns which is added here so which is already there here and i cannot able to add here so i cannot able to see that vendor related information here so which means so if you if you have 100 columns you want to have the 50 columns here another 50 here you can able to use uh, you can able to use that app like that so which means you are going to save the data into one place only so which means i have 20 columns here and i have 10 columns here if i enter data in the general and then i enter data in another tab so all the data will save back into the one table itself so this way you can able to create the tabs if you want more tabs also you can able to create from the components section so here you have one more option like one column tab and two column tab so these are the sections these we already discussed in the previous videos if you want to add the section for example i already have one section if i want another section with a two column section i can able to add here so i just added two column section and then you can you can drop your controls here i'll go back to this one now i have something called created on and which is read only but uh, for demo purpose i am adding here so i have this created and unmodified on so we have two columns in this section so this section contains one column and this section contains two columns of course you can able to increase the sections up to uh, two columns here the form field but uh, you know we have four columns options also we have three columns and we have four columns now i just added the two column section only but you can increase um, maximum to four columns here but when it when it is coming to the tabs so here if, if you are if you are in a tab the maximum uh, layout is three column but when you are working with a uh, sorry when you are working with the sections and this is a section when you are working with the section we have maximum four columns for a single section so this way we can able to add the tabs and also we can include the sections in it and we have a couple of options here uh, here we have a tree view concept and when you go to the, this tree view you can able to see this information is the form name and we have the header which we discussed just before and we have the tab which is a general tab and we just added another tab called vendor tab and for example if you click this one for example i have a th i have this general section in this general general tab inside general tab i have a new section which i don't have any columns and if you want to delete the section you can able to delete from here which is i'm selecting this one if i click delete and this will delete but what happens then this contains three column section so if you go to the two column section that will not appear so this general contains three column section so that is appearing still and uh, if, if you go to sections any section like uh, this is a contract information section and uh, this one another one is approval section from here also if you don't want any of these columns inside it for example i don't want this cost, cost estimate and i can able to delete from here so if you click here and then the delete option will appear so instead of going inside the, the design you can select from the tree view and if you want to delete you can able to delete from there even for you know selection of sections or selection of tabs you can able to do from the tree view tree view shows complete information on the design and it shows all the controls all the columns and all the sections and all the tabs which are available inside the form so th th this will be more helpful when you are designing the forms and coming to the components components 
have different kind of sections the popular is the things which we are regularly using are you know regularly used uh, uh, components you can able to see inside this one coming to layout you can able to see the tab as well as sections we have three columns like one column two column three column tab coming to the columns uh, we discussed like uh, it is the maximum of four column section so you want a spacer you can able to use the spacer as well when you go to the grid we have two types one is the editable grid another one is the sub grid so we'll discuss this one in the upcoming videos how it will be helpful inside the model driven application the sub grids also helpful like if you have a grid and if you want to add sub grid inside it you can able to create a sub grid as well and uh, inside the display we can able to see a couple of options like a uh, calendar and if you want to implement a calendar related one you can use this and this is more useful and there is a canvas app application like if if you want to inject the if you want to inject the canvas application into model driven and this will be more useful and we have external website and you want to call any external website you can so we we have a form concept and we have html web resource and uh, we have image web resource option also available and few of the things are uh, disabled and due to some you know licensing related stuff and we have quick view concept and we have timeline also and inside the input related components we have business card reader we have cc option set and we have checkbox form number input we have pen input we have rich text editor control also we have and we have star rating and we have toggle most of this we can able to see in the canvas application also like a checkbox form and pen input and rich text editor star toggle we can able to see in the canvas application as well and coming to the media here we can only able to see the image web, web resource and this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos coming to the AI builder side we only have business card reader and in the power bi side we only have power bi report and this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos and this is something like and we do have a power bi tile in the canvas side and here we have power bi report concept this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos so these components more useful when you are you know uh, implementing the business applications and if you want to have a grid or to show the data or to show you know sub subgrids also will be helpful and when you select any of the item and you want to see the related related items in it and you can able to implement using grids and uh, so when you when you are working with the views also and that also treats as a grid like uh, when you have any view and when you try to select any of the item and that view items also treats like a grid grid style that that also will discuss in upcoming videos how to create the views and how to work with the multiple views and how we can you know filter the data inside views that we'll discuss in the 